We invited three clients with very different neurological conditions to partake in a study to document their progress with cardiovascular training. Our first client is Danielle, who has cerebral palsy. She has significant tone, especially in her upper extremities. Anne is our second client, who has multiple sclerosis. Anne walks with two ski poles for extra balance. Our third client is Amanda, who sustained a complete spinal cord injury when she was a child 21 years ago. In December of 2020, Bridging Bonnex Foundation was gifted a transit recumbent cross trainer by Newstep, a company headquartered out of Michigan. The New Step Transit is inclusive by design and can be used by a wide range of individuals with varying degrees of neurological challenges. How about we look here at how, how even you are, Danielle? Oh, yeah. you're pretty even. Yeah. A little bit more on the left, left leg than the right, but that's what we expected. Its versatility allows for dynamic upper and lower extremity training simultaneously. I can get exercise that I can't do myself. I just don't have the strength and the coordination to get this kind of cardio exercise. So we want to go there. The New Step Transit captures objective data on our clients and measures their exercise performance. It has real-time visual biofeedback to help identify irregularities and track our clients' progress so we can document their motor control, strength, and endurance. There's so much feedback going on instantaneously. It has my arms balance, left arm, right arm. It has how many pounds I'm pulling back, pushing forward each time. And it does the same thing for the legs. So when we were gifted this uh New Step Transit to our program, we decided to do a case series with three different clients for two days a week for eight weeks. The purpose was to identify if and how the transit positively impacts their performance. I have to keep the little ball green and it's yellow right now, so I've got to speed up a little bit. Come on ball, turn green. At the end of the eight week period, we compared the baseline data to the end data. Over the course of eight weeks, Danielle, Anne and Amanda showed improvement. We documented gains on average by 41% in distance traveled and 35% in steps per minute. We are so grateful to New Step that actually donated this device to us. It has really become a good complement to the rest of the things we're offering in our program and the clients that have utilized it so far have loved it. We are beyond grateful to New Step to enhance our clients' exercise regimen and therapeutic experience. You're still in the green zone. Thank you so much, New Step. 18,800. 1,800.